Hey, what's up guys? It's the Ghost Hacker here, and I am back for another Visual Studios tutorial of course. You guys have been loving them. And today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to play audio files in Visual Basics. So, you can get any audio file. Well, I won't say any because I'm pretty sure it has to be a WAV file. Um, I don't quote me on this, but I think it has to be. Um, I would recommend you use one no matter what, even if you can use like a .mp3 file. I would still recommend you use a WAV file. Um, but pretty much you can play any WAV file because you can convert them over to WAV. And, um, you can play music, you can play your voice if you record it, and you can do whatever you want, really. So, before we hop in, I just want to quickly say thank you very much, guys, for the awesome support. Again, I know this, I say this a lot, but, um, I actually hit 100 subscribers since last video, and I think I'm at 136 now, so been gaining subscribers like crazy and it's pretty damn awesome um but yeah so we're gonna hop in here and i'm gonna show you how to do this so we're gonna grab ourselves a button i'm gonna make it a big button just just to be annoying <laughs> um we're gonna rename the text to play i, I did it again <laughs> there we go um, now we're gonna actually have to import our audio file, so we're gonna go to project and it's gonna say where the name of the application is, then properties. This screen will show up, just go down here to resources. Now make it like small screen, make your v uh, Visual Studio small screen and just find the file you want and drag it into this white spot. There we go, now it's imported. We can close that now click yes because we do want to save it and now what we're going to do is double click our button we're going to do my dot computer dot audio dot play we're going to do brackets and then we're going to do my dot resources dot whatever the name of your file is um, and that's not all we need to actually do comma and then what type how we want it to play so if we want it to play in the background or if we want it to play in the background but loop over and over and over again or if we want it to play in the back or, or if we just want it to play but wait till it's complete before it plays it again so like it won't cut it off it has to complete the file um we could do that so we're just gonna click uh, wait till complete and that's pretty much it so if we start the pro uh, program here we have got our button and if we click it, it's going to say where that file is. Hello YouTube. It says hello YouTube because that's what I recorded earlier. And it's a .wav file. You guys got to make sure it's a .wav file. I'm almost positive it has to be. But um, even if you can, I'd highly recommend you use a .wav file. Because it's just a lot better. So just, just use it. <laughs> and um, if you guys want to know how to convert MP3 files and that type of like other audio files to a WAV file just let me know and I will make a tutorial on that it's very easy and I can show you guys how to do it so um we can click it again hello YouTube and it'll keep playing and this ain't no I'm not like doing any um like editing or anything this is real hello, I'm talking YouTube. at the same time it's it's real so I ain't just saying that or something <laughs> um but yeah so I'm gonna show you the other mode actually we're gonna do um background loop now this might get a little bit annoying so <laughs> let's just see what happens here hello YouTube hello YouTube hello YouTube <laughs> hello YouTube hello YouTube hello and it'll just keep going and going unless we add a stop button and that's exactly what we're gonna do now make that one a little bit smaller I'll just copy and paste that one and just change the text to stop there we go now double click it we're going to do my dot computer dot audio uh, audio dot stop and our brackets. There we go. Now we're going to start it up again. Hello YouTube. Hello you. And the stop button works. Hello YouTube. Hello YouTube. <laughs> there we go. So that's pretty much um, all. That's how you can start and stop the audio. And it works fine. So you can do that with like a song, like any song you want. Like say you 
just want background music in your song or in your um, program and that's how you can do it you can just make it so it starts up on the program startup or whatever you can do whatever you want with it and uh, it's pretty cool it's useful to know and that's pretty much all I have to say oh and another another spot that you can use this is if you want like custom sound effects when you click your buttons like say you want it to like make like some sort of chime or some something like that when you click the buttons you could do that um but yeah that's all that's all for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it i hope you get i hope it helped you guys out and um stay tuned for some more videos and until next time guys i'm the ghost hacker i hope you guys have a great day and bye bye